let's look at the ionization energy for a species we haven't talked about yet, the Cl minus ion. Now, we know about ionization energies from our tables and the trends of the periodic table. So if we have Cl minus, will the ionization energy be 1251 minus, 349 minus, or 349 plus? Think about those three possibilities and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each of the answers. A, Cl minus should want to lose an electron, so it should be negative and the opposite of the ionization energy of Cl atoms. Or B, Cl minus should want to lose an electron, so it should be the negative and equal to the electron affinity of Cl atoms. Or C, ionization energies are always positive, so energy is required and it has to be a positive number. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're trying to determine the ionization energy of the Cl minus ion. So if we look at the definition of ionization energy, it's the energy it requires to remove an electron from a species. The electron affinity is the amount of energy associated with adding an electron to a species. Now we have a table of ionization energies and electron affinities and if you look carefully at this electron affinity reaction, a negative species going to the electron and the neutral species, that's exactly the electron reaction we're looking for. That is, we're trying to ionize Cl minus. That is, take Cl minus down to electron and Cl. So it's the reverse of the electron affinity reaction. If you reverse a reaction, you take the opposite of the energy. So the electron affinity for chlorine atoms is minus 349, so the ionization energy of Cl minus is plus 349. For this reaction, it takes 349 kilojoules per mole to remove an electron from Cl minus.